Need some last minute fantasy football advice? Then the boys at the Fade Route have you covered. Check out Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z every NFL Sunday, noon Eastern during the regular season. D and I give you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts or green lights and our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy sits or red lights. That's Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z every NFL Sunday, noon Eastern during the regular season. That's Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z. It's the option where we give you our picks for the week. It is the option for NFL Week 9. We are already in Week 9. And you can play along with us. Go to our CBS Sports Pick'em entitled The Option 2024. Sign up today and play along with us for the bragging rights to take on the champs and to see how you can do. The lovely Rita Sanchez is still in first place. And it's getting tight. It's getting tight. D is in second. I am in third. Danny Butler's in fourth. And Rob Adams, friend of the show Rob Adams, is in fifth place. D, you're already one up on everybody for this week since you correctly picked the Jets over the Texans. So we're going to skip Thursday night and we're going to go right to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The 3-4 and four Dallas Cowboys go into Hot Atlanta to take on the 5-3 and three Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta. <clears throat> yeah. This is pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. Falcons are going to take this one pretty handily. Cowboys are going nowhere fast. The 5-3 and three Denver Broncos come east to Baltimore to take on the 5-3 and three Baltimore Ravens. I think that's actually going to be a close game, but at the end of the day, I think the Ravens pull it off. And I think it's going to be close, though. So it's a 92% win probability for CBS Sports in favor of the Ravens. I am likely to go with them. Over under one touchdown for new acquisition Deontay Johnson. Uh, over. Yeah, I think he's going to have a big impact too. We're going to see how that goes, but they credit to the Ravens. They made the move. The Bills made their move. The Jets made their move. The Ravens matched them. The two and five Miami Dolphins go into Orchard Park to take on the six and two Buffalo Bills. Billies. Give me the Bills. Absolutely give me the Bills. They are humming on all cylinders. The Dolphins are still trying to find themselves. Now with Tua back. The two and six New Orleans Saints go into Carolina to take on the one and seven Carolina Panthers. Panthers! Panthers! <clears throat> they got this. I am so torn with this game. My first blush was to take the Panthers, but they're so bad. You traded Johnson, Thielen's on IR, <sighs> Bryce Young's under center. Andy but, Dalton's on the sidelines. And Andrew Dalton's on the sidelines. His thumb in a freaking probably, and it wrapped up. But then you look at the Saints, and Spencer Rattler's just bad, man. They have the stuff, right? The, the, the Saints have the stuff to do this, but I don't trust it. I'm going to go with the Panthers too. Like it, it sounds crazy to, to take the one and seven Panthers here, but <laughs> the saints aren't anything to write home about right now either. Like the first two weeks of the season where they scored 40 points each game, they don't look like the same team. It's not, I mean, I get Derek Carr's not there, but you know, you went from 43, 44. And now <laughs> you're two and six. Come on now. Come on now. Speaking of two and six, the two and six Raiders coming to Cincinnati to take on the three and five suddenly resurgent Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals. Give me the Bengals. Give me the Bengals. Raiders are going nowhere fast. The four and three Los Angeles Chargers go into Cleveland to take on the two and six Cleveland Browns. I'm taking the Chargers. <clears throat> Here we go, brownies. Here we go. 
I think that Jameis has something going here. He's got the secret sauce, man. And we'll see. We'll see what they can do with that. Let's see how long they can ride it. I think they got it for at least another week. And then from there, all bets are off. The 6-2 Washington Commanders go into MetLife to take on the 2-6 New York Football Giants. Tommies. Yeah. I'm, I'm done picking the Giants this year. I can't, I can't do it, man. Like, I can't do it. The, the, the commies are just better. Jaden Daniels is better than Daniel Jones. Joe Shane's kid was right. Figure out a way to get Jaden Daniels. Huh. <laughs> Joe Shane's kid. You could be the new GM of the New York Football Giants. Figure out a way to get Jaden Daniels, Dad. <laughs> Dan- I want Daniels. Fuck. He won't be there at four. At least Joe, you know, Joe Shane was right. He wasn't going to be there at four. <laughs> so he's right. He wasn't going to be there at four or five. So he is a good prognosticator. Over under one offensive touchdown at home for Daniel Jones this week. Oh, over, over. It's got to happen this week. I'm going under. <laughs> like, this is going to plague him the rest of his Giants career until he's mercifully cut. <laughs> it's going to be Daniel. We're going to we're just we're moving on. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. One day your name will go up in the ring of honor. Coach, please don't put my name in the ring of honor. (laughs) They're going to yell at me. The two and six New England Patriots go into Tennessee to take on the one and six Tennessee Titans. Do we really have to talk about this? What a great game. Patriots. (laughs) This is so awful. It's it's literally a toss up on CBS Sports. It's 50-50. It's that bad. If Drake May plays, the Patriots win. If Drake May doesn't play, uh, I can't pick a tie. Um, <laughs> oh, he ain't going to play. He ain't going to play. So I'm going to go with the Titans. I'll take the Titans. Why not? The Patriots don't seem to be going anywhere in any particular hurry. Neither do the Titans, but at least, you know, they got a little bit of spark. For all you grill masters, green thumbers, DIY aficionados, and home repair heroes in the Richmond, Virginia area, if you're looking for personal service quality products and a convenient shopping experience, then look no farther than Thacker Ace Hardware in Colonial Heights. Owner Don Rackley and his team of local experts have everything you need to tackle every project around the house. I'm talking Benjamin Moore paint, Milwaukee and Craftsman power tools, plumbing, electric, hardware, the works. For you green thumbers, Their nursery department is top-notch, and I wouldn't be me if I didn't mention the grills. They have Weber, Blackstone, Big Green Egg, Traeger. I want one of everything. Give them a call today at 804-766-4223 and see how they can assist you. Or swing by 27 Dunlop Village in Colonial Heights. That's Thacker Ace Hardware, 804-766-4223, or swing by... 27 Dunlop Village in Colonial Heights. Thacker Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks. We're into the 4 o'clock hour. An intriguing matchup. The 4 and 3 Chicago Bears go into the desert to take on the 4 and 4 Arizona Cardinals. Cards. It's going to be a tough game. This is going to be a tough game. I'm going to take the Bears. I think it, they're going to want to wash the taste out of last week. I think they're going to wash that out of their mouth. And I think they're going to have a better performance, a more focused performance against the Cardinals. The 2-6 and six Jaguars go into Philly to take on the 5-2 and two Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Win percent. The win probability for the Eagles is 98% on CBS Sports. I don't know. That's way too high in my opinion. So it should be about 90-10. The Jaguars could possibly do it, but yeah. That that's that's got stinker written all over it for multiple reasons. The six and one Detroit Lions go into Green Bay to take on the six and two Green Bay Packers. Lions, give me the Lions. I'm gonna take the Lions as well. An intriguing matchup now. The three and four Los Angeles Rams go into Seattle to take on the four and four Seahawks without DK Metcalf. Rams even without. I'm going to go with the Rams, too. I am concerned about where the Seahawks are right now. They're just kind of there. This was this was set up for them, right? 
you had the Niners, you had the Rams, and you're just still kind of there. That's a problem. Your Sunday night special. The 4-4 four four Indianapolis Colts with Joe Flacco under center go into Minnesota to take on the 5-2 Minnesota Vikings. Skull, skull, Vikings. <clears throat> yeah, I am taking the Vikings as well. Realistically, they shouldn't be 5-2. That freaking face mask call was horrible. Like how they, they twisted Sam Darnold's head around. Like how is that not a face mask? Like that's yeah. absolutely ridiculous. And, just, and I didn't see it. What do you mean you didn't see it? You were looking right <laughs> at him. You were fucking right there looking at him. How do you not see that? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. And your Monday night delight. The four and four Tampa Bay Bucks go into Kansas City to take on the seven and zero oh Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. How about them Chiefs? 93% win probability on CBS Sports. They're humming on all cylinders. And, you know, you know, dude, just going to add DeAndre Hopkins. I'm just going to yeah, just get more. Just get, They're like the Dodgers, man. Like, I don't know where they're finding this shit. I'm like, oh, D-Hop? D- cool. Who's next? Who's next? Who else can we bring in? It's crazy. And then eventually they're going to get their guys back. Think about that when they get their guys back. This team is freaking scary. Teams on a bye this week. Mercifully for one of them, the Niners, they can get healthy. And then the Steelers. Adjust your fantasy rosters accordingly. It's time for us to run the go around again, but sign up for our CBS Pick'em League. Play against us and see if you, yes you, can take out the champs. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you liked what you heard and you want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Leave us a review, rate us five stars, turn on subscription notifications, and share on social media. Tell your friends and spread the word.